familiar with the Republic for Arizona? No, I'm not. Not real familiar. I've heard a little bit about it. But because, uh, or the Republic for the United States of America? You heard of them? Uh, we're part of that. We're part of the larger organization called the Republics for the United States of America. Well, I, I like the terms that are being used because it's a republic. And that's what we are, is well, a republic. We're basically an organization that evolved out of learnings from some pioneers, patriot pioneers. That there you go. We're trying to figure out what got mucked up in this country along the lines, and they figured out uh, that in 1860s, basically where it started. And, but it essentially started... At the end of the Civil War. Well, it actually, basically, it started for the fact that our country was given loans to start the country up and uh -huh. get it up and running. And the terms of those loans are 70-year terms. Unlike a 30-year fixed interest rate loan on a house, it's a 70-year note, and every 70 years something majorly bad has happened. In 1860, the, the, the bankers in Europe, in France and England, wanted us to use our land as collateral, which led... Which, which is the reason why we had the Civil War. It had nothing to do with slavery. Four of the northern states had slaves. It was all financial. Yeah, yeah. Rhode Island had slaves. It was all yeah. about the southern states to use their land for their livelihood, the farming, not wanting to have their land as collateral for federal debt, which they could what, you know, spend money inappropriately and waste money, and they'd be stuck with the bill or lose their land. They were federalizing the state land. Mm -hmm. So that's why they went and formed their own country so then Congress could no longer legally meet. They couldn't convene. They couldn't form a quorum. Half the country was gone. They couldn't lawfully pass one law. So what did Lincoln do? He was a lawyer, right? He dreamt up, came up with the idea, hey, I'll form a corporation, and I'll be the CEO, and I can refinance that debt. He has a famous quote where he says, I have the South at my front and the bankers at my back, and I'm more scared of the bankers. They were trying, <laughs> yeah. they were trying to charge him 36% interest. He invented the greenback dollar. What did they do to Lincoln? They killed him. Yeah. And if you think John Wilkes Booth did it, then we need to have coffee sometime. Yeah. We'll sit down yeah. and I'll tell you who did it. Or, anyway, so but anyway, so that's so fast forward 70 years after that. And by the way, that that whole job of the U.S. corporation, they killed Lincoln. He was going to. We believe he's going to undo it. Some people do. I don't personally. Some people believe he was going to undo the corporation, but they assassinated him. Okay. All right. Fast forward 70 years later. So I don't have to worry about it. Right. And then, and then that, whole, that whole business of setting up the corporation was finalized through the Act of 1871 when they established the District of Columbia, which is one of the three arms of the Illuminati, banking bankers that run the whole world. So here comes the Illuminati. Now. That's the okay. Illuminati. But that's just, a, but see, when you throw words out like that, some people have been trained and conditioned to roll their eyes and call you a cuckoo. Like the word conspiracy, if you look up the definition of Webster's, Webster's Dictionary, it means that two or more people are conspiring in secret to harm somebody else. But if the average American hears the word conspiracy come out of your mouth, they think you're a nut job. They think you're wacko, Jesse Ventura, all this stuff that's just hard to believe. Your government's doing stuff to harm you. And then you present them truth, and they can't even handle it. And they say, so you really trust this government? You know, they, a senator walks in the room and people applaud the senator. They have less than 10% approval rating right now, right? Mm -hmm. They lie about everything. Mm -hmm. Pat Tillman, Jessica Lynch. Mm -hmm. Osama bin Laden was hiding behind a woman and using her as a human shield. Oh, no, he had a gun, an AK-47. Oh, he didn't have anything. Oh, SEAL Team 6 whacked him, right? We're not going to spike the football. He goes down there and gives them medals and exposes them. Two much wait. Two months later, they were all assassinated in a CH-47 with eight Afghanis. All the guys who killed them? All 38. Seal Team all... Six was two months afterward. And oh happens, my God! This happens right in front of the sheeple, who the press was purchased by this country in 1910. They bought 21 newspapers, 25 newspapers, to to get the Federal Reserve Act passed for the third time, which we've been enjoying since 1913. And if you really want to know about that, that's like really the basis. That's why we're bombing Libya. Libya. The day we bombed Libya, we set up a central bank. NATO did, or the, the bankers did. It's all about central bank in every country. I, I agree. And so, so but, agree. But, but they're losing this battle. There's a major battle going on now. They're trying to shift this thousand trillion dollars in derivatives. They're shifting this debt around and trying to make it go away, and trying to put it on the peoples mm -hmm. within the various countries. Iceland's the first country to stand up. 
They're not in the Fed, Federal I Reserve. Heard that. Iceland said, "Screw you." Really? Yeah. Good for them. They're, they're more than they're the heroes. And right now, you know, we're looking at the Deutsche Mark coming back. <coughs> the Deutsche Mark coming back. The euro is going to be major problems. We're going to have financial Armageddon. Presidents, you have to believe me. They have. Oh, a, I, they have. I, I believe okay, everything, they, you're they have I believe a, everything you're saying. They have a split right down the middle on purpose because they learned if you something's called dualism. If you if you pit one side against the other, their eyes off the ball. Yeah. So we got blacks against whites, men, women against men, Republicans against Democrats, and that we're allowing now Mexican trucker truckers to drive throughout our country. This is a stepping stone. They're going to establish a 120-mile zone, a free trade zone, mm-hmm. in which they have these free trade zones already, like in Juarez. Mm-hmm. That's where all the automotive parts are made. Semiconductor parts are made in the <laughs> island of Penang, and they already have these, but they're going to have a zone across the whole border. They have a super corridor plan, 12-lane freeways planned through Texas, including rail. There's, there's a map all this. is on the John Birch Society's website. So how do we change it? You join us, and you become a member of Republic, and you, and by doing that, you can join. We have assembly meetings twice a month in, in different counties. We're seated in seven of 15 counties. We have assembly meetings. We have a provincial government. I'm actually one of the 10 representatives for Arizona. How does that change things? We, are, we have been contacted by very wealthy families that have been hoarding gold for generations. They came along with military, suppose the story goes some military people came to us. They don't want to, they see the U.S. corporation imploding. China, you see the Japan and Japanese, which is underreported, it's, it's like a hundred times worse than they're reporting. Those hot particles are coming around with the jet stream, by the way. Those kids are sick. They already got thyroid cancer. They didn't expect to see this for two years. This is all being silenced. None of this is on the TV, which is controlled by about five people. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mm -hmm. so we have this whole meltdown going on right now, and I kind of lost my train. Um, But you join us by, by we've all signed up. We signed three documents, a a letter of sovereign intent, that we are members of of the Republic for Arizona. We are taking steps to sever the corporate adhesion contracts that we have in place that you don't even know that you're a party to. The biggest thing as a former United States Marine who worked for Ross Perot and then Ron Paul trying to promote change within, the, within this system, I later found out it's rigged. And by the way, just a side note, at the state committee man meeting in July of 2010, they were arguing over what criteria you have to adhere to to get funding for the Republican National Committee to, to run as a Republican. And you had to agree to like 30% of this list. They would not match the list up with the Constitution. People were yelling from the balcony of Scottsdale High. I threw my hands up. Four months later, I heard about the Guardians of the Pre-Republic, a group of people that served letters, an 80-page document to all 50 governors. I Googled it, found a forum, got in, I signed up the first week. It was called the Restore America Plan. That has morphed into the Republics for the United States of America. And we have a provincial government. Now, these rich people that gave seed money to the family, I hear there's one, one of the families is the Lee family from China. They, they gave us seed money when we started our country up. They know if the U.S. goes down, it's going to be this, this breakneck speed rush towards this new world order. Mm-hmm. They, want, they don't want us to get to, to implode. Right. So what, if, the, if, if the U.S. corporation can't fund itself, this is history repeating itself. Look what happened to Rome. Look what they did to their money, and look what happened. Mm-hmm. It's, it's happening again. It will happen. It's, it's all, all history. over the news right now with a meltdown in Europe's going to start by within three weeks. They can't believe it's lasted this long. Martial law will definitely be in place within a couple years. There's people that are experts that track everything. Just as in one example, the government puts out contracts. We need a supplier to supply us with six million plastic coffins. So some plastic manufacturer in Ohio bids on the contract, gets the job, right? So there's these websites like this. And the government has thousands of pages of solicitations, requests for quotes. And there's people that study these and see what's going on and the troop movements. And so all this is happening right in front of the people. The American people are known internationally as the sheeple. Only yes. about 20% have been enlightened because of the internet and people like Alex Jones. Do you know him? Uh-uh. He's a very famous guy in the, oh, in, the, in the alternative news business. He got famous by filming a ceremony north of San Francisco called Bohemian Grove. Our leaders have been going there every July for 100 years. So basically a bunch of white guys that run the world, that get together and get really drunk and smoke cigars and pee on redwood trees, essentially. They had women for allowed for a couple of years. 
they do this bizarre ceremony called the cremation of care. So they're going to get drunk and just burn this huge 40-foot statue of an owl, do a mock sacrifice of a child. Nixon, Reagan attended this, plus international leaders. There's something called the Logan Law. It's illegal for them to even meet in private if they're, world, if they're leaders of countries. So they're flat out breaking the law. Well, July 13th of this year, a whole slew of people, I think hundreds, dressed up with Viva Frendetta masks and lined the street outside the, the uh, Bohemian Grove. But Alex Jones made the seven minute video, used Kuiper's name in Google, and it, it'll say Bohemian, or YouTube, it'll get, offer you Bohemian Grove. Watch that. Hmm. And if that doesn't give you the creeps, but then he went on, he went on to be, that got him famous, but then it, he went on to produce high quality, high definition movies, like one's called The Obama Deception, one's called Endgame. There's probably about seven or ten of them. I've heard of those. So if you watch those, and you'll see, it's all about basically, basically what's happening. Uh -huh. And if you picture the world's power structure like a pyramid, there's all these different groups of people from Freemasons to neoconservatives, but they're all underneath these top bankers, meaning mm -hmm. with the Rothschild family. Right. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, and this guy from Mexico are not the richest people in the world. They, they, Rothschilds have their money all hidden in fund, funds, like the Ford Foundation and things like that. Mm -hmm. And, and they're, they just want to bankrupt the middle class of the United States. That's what's going on right now. Started with NAFTA. Mm -hmm. And they want to <clears throat> ship this wealth over to Asia at the current time. All right. So, so you said in answer to the question of how we change this, you, you said that we need to join the Republic. Is, and you'll start, right? and you'll start the, the Republic, you'll join yeah. the Republic. When you fast forward from 1860, you hit 1930. That's when FDR yeah. implemented socialism, right? They came up with the social security system, right? Yeah. So they assigned everybody a social security number. That's actually called your straw man. So when you play the game of Monopoly and you move the piece around the board, mm -hmm. everybody knows the boot or the shoe is you, mm -hmm. but it's not really you because it doesn't have a blood, red blood, it doesn't breathe air. No. It doesn't, but everybody knows it's you. Well, that's your straw man. So the government created a social security number and your name in all capital letters, which if you look at anything from a bank or, or the driver's license, anything from the government or a bank, they're going to only see you as this corporate fiction. What, what they did was they gave us this, this social security system to give us people some money when they retire, but you can see this is imploding. That system's not going to last, right? Mm -hmm. But in return, you've agreed to all these contracts that we never even agreed to because they didn't even discuss them and get a vote on the public. Right. This was all right. done secretly. But well, here's what they did. The bankers wanted collateral. Using land didn't work in 1860. Guess what they used in 1930 for the collateral for the loan, the refinancing of the national debt. Was that where the gold was? No, that was in 1943. So, so we became the world's yeah. reserve currency in 1945 as a result of the Bretton Woods Agreement. The British sterling was the world's reserve currency for 150 years. So if Brazil wants to sell lumber to China, the transaction is done in dollars, U.S. dollars. That's where the word petrodollar came from. Okay. So anyway, all the world agreed to tie their dollars to our dollar. We were supposed to have our money back by gold in Fort Knox. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in, it also in 1933, as a result of this debt, uh, the gov government was bankrupt. I think we've been bankrupt four times in this country. Right now, we're not only bankrupt, we're, we're insolvent. Okay, this, is, this can't be undone, can't be fixed, because mm -hmm. every person knows over $100,000. It's mm -hmm. impossible, and they know it, but they're continuing to perpetuate this nonsense. But anyway, trying to get back up, so we, what happened was um, it, they made it essentially illegal, they made it illegal to buy and sell stuff in this country with gold and silver if you were a U.S. citizen in 1933, I think it was. And the way they did it was they said if you have a bunch of gold in your safe deposit box, you could never buy anything with it. But hey, we'll exchange it for Federal Reserve notes, and you can buy stuff with this. Right. That's how they did it. So they didn't come grab it, but they made it. Uh, same use, thing. They made it, it youth, in, useful, yeah, useless. The same result. So up until that time, you could exchange like twenty dollars and sixty-seven cents for an ounce of gold. But if you were a foreigner, you could still use gold to buy stuff up, up until 1971. And the, but they also changed the exchange to thirty-five dollars an ounce. So they got a they got a ten percent. You know, they made some profit right there. But anyway, mm -hmm. so they made it fully. They, that's when we went in 1971. At countries like Japan were exchanging so many dollars for gold. Nixon said, that's it. And he, and he stopped it. And there's a whole, the whole issue of gold is a mystery. Go try to find out how much gold's in the world. 
It's a, it's a, it's a really interesting topic. I think it's a cube 64 feet it's on a side. It's the length of a tennis court. That's what's reported, 167,000 metric tons. That doesn't okay. seem possible. That's not including old gold, which is in statues and things like that. But this is called above ground gold. But anyway, the, the gold metal, uh, the gold, the price of precious metals like gold, FDR used to set the price of gold from his bed every morning. It's, it's now current to be a stat, it's, it's all manipulated by the Committee of 300 in the City of London, which is the second arm of the Illuminati. That's the financial headquarters. Yeah. It's a part of London the Queen can't even step into without commit permission. Now, the, the, the religious headquarters is the Vatican. These are all states, city-states. They're their own countries, within countries. And you, and you can't believe what they've done. It was very, it's very, very slick what they've done. So these founders want to fund us. The military came to us. If the, our government implodes, which is going to happen, they've run out of money. They haven't been able to pass a budget September, September 30th of last year. They, they don't want to work for the UN. Do you know we have a law right now in place that Canadian military can come into our city, in New York City or where have you, to stop mobs? No, I didn't. I I've guarantee you, I guarantee you, do that. you know that the police have been able to walk in your house yeah. without a warrant for 10 years? Indiana, for sure. Do you know, do you know that my grandfathers, who both were officers in the military, would walk up and cold cock a TSA worker if they see them sticking their hands in a six-year-old daughter, American girl's pants? Or making a 95-year-old woman who's dying of leukemia get out of a wheelchair and go into a, a bathroom for 45 minutes because she crapped her Depends pants? And we're tolerating it. We have a bunch of pussy American, pussified American men. Yeah. who are not standing up, and I will not tolerate this. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm going to talk to people and try to get you to join us. We meet in a very fancy place in Scottsdale. Right? You know where the Roaring Fork restaurant is? Hmm. It's off Chaparral and Scottsdale Road. It's a five-star restaurant. It's very famous in Scottsdale. We're in that building because one of our members has access to this conference room. Yeah, he, he was telling me. So that. if you were to come to this and bring some people, we could really get some momentum. Because once these, all these people realize that everything they're doing is fantastic, but it's, it's all for naught. What you should do right now, starting like the second you say goodbye to me or walk away, is you should go make sure your family has enough food and water supply for three weeks. You should have a plan, security plan, where to meet if there's martial law. You don't know about all the stuff that's going on. You know about the roving gangs. You don't know about people stealing from each other. Do you know about any of this stuff? The I, copper being stolen? Yes. I, Eight air yeah. conditioners for $800 in copper? A, 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 a priest, am, being, priest being I've shot for his credit worth cards? i storage and I've, I'm well armed. Okay, so you're well armed. So you have a plan. Mm -hmm. do, and are, do you have family nearly near you? Uh, well, within 100 near, miles. Within 100 miles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they have the same, an, do they use the yes. same weapons, ammunition? Yes. And you have rendezvous points? Yes. Now, do you have a dude ranch or some sort of place to move to should there, the city, the metro area no, kind of blow not, up? Not yet. That, that would be your next level plan yeah. because you're going to have to get out of metro area. Yeah. So that's what you also would gain by coming to the Republic because it's, rel it's relevant to today's time, which people are interested in. But it would pull all this together. Main thing is about educating and, and, how, and working how, how together. Is it, how is it that your organization is getting away with this and hasn't been everything hammered. we're doing is lawful everything was we're in law. we've had fbi come and interview us for a couple hours and they're they're actually rooting us on because they have children and grandchildren and they're not going to get a, they're not going to get a it. paycheck we're being rooted on they're uh retired generals I, I i don't know everybody we're in communication with but i cannot imagine can't even can't even for s visualize a four-star general in the Marine Corps, retired, tolerating what's going on right now, trying, not trying to do something. Well, of course, the best thing that could happen for the other side is for you guys to get physical and to do something no, we're, silly. That's the opposite of like what we are. No, no, yeah, no, no. yeah, because if that were, that's exactly what they want. That's very, why they keep pushing the buttons. We will not allow anybody to be in the Republic, be a part okay. of us, if they're, if they're a violent, any violence. Yeah, you knows, can't. No, not so, that's exactly no, what they want. Mahatma but. Gandhi changed the world 70, 80 years ago. Look what, look what Martin Luther King did. And what, look what the colonists did. All we need is 3%. 3% of the colonists fought the British. 3% translates to 10 million. We're about a half million right now. But I want you to understand something about, I didn't finish this part about the, the straw man. If you look at your checkbook, when you sign that line, oh, yeah. that's not a line. It's microscopic words that say authorized signature only nine times. So 
Corporation is derived from the word corpse, which means dead. Corporations are established to create for profit. That's what their corporations are established. Whether you get in a tax shelter, it's still a profit condition. If it's a nonprofit corporation, you still make money to be nonprofit. They're established for profit. They created a corporate entity out of you and me. They print a birth bond in your name. In the mid-50s, it was $600,000 per American child. In 2004, it was $2 million American child, approximately. And if you do commit, if you are engaged in commerce, they, they're, they're able to print more bonds, okay? So each American family, you picture these people every April, adding every penny, trying to do these voluntary income tax, federal income tax returns, which by the way, are, we shouldn't even be filling out. Yeah. It's all voluntary. It's all done with trickery and, yeah. word, and word games and, and changing the meanings of words. But they, 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 they sweat and suffer to produce this income tax return that they don't want to mail in, but they have to because mm -hmm. they don't want to go to jail, okay? Imagine that return that the Brown family just did and they, have to, they owe $2,700 throw two pennies in a bucket. Then the government walks over and starts the printing presses and prints trillions of dollars out of thin air. That makes this nonsensical. Mm -hmm. We should all immediately stop this because it's funding this, this uh, industrial, military industrial complex that has produced 850,000 Americans with a top secret clearance. I'm a former recon Marine Navy diver with a secret clearance. I didn't even have top secret and I was on nuclear subs. We have 850,000. If you go to if you go to Washington D.C., you would think we're going through the biggest boom this country's ever seen. There's construction everywhere. They just unveiled a 400 million dollar facility in Utah that processes signal. Pr Every single phone call goes through there, looking for keywords. Everything's monitored, and they'll come to your house if you say the wrong words. And they're monitoring us. But everything we're doing is lawful. So if this implosion starts, we we are supposed to receive some funding. We are already going to register with the Hague. As, as our own, where we've re-inhabited this government that has been dormant since the U.S. corporation was created. I can show you writings from three Supreme Court justices that explain there's two governments, the de jure and the de facto. Right now we're suffering under this de facto. And we're supposed to be this entire different. We have 60 million laws. Do you know why? The judicial system is a bunch of corporations that have to make money. Now we have private prisons. They, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a huge sucking action to get a person into prison, especially the blacks uneducated, because they can't defend themselves with the lawyers. Once they get in prison, they can print a prison bond. Guess who buys, procures the most prison bonds? Walmart. Interesting. It's an entire industry, and it has to make money. The cop has to give you a ticket. He will not get promoted. They have to, especially now when they're scaling back. 20% of Detroit's not even patrolled right now. There's prowlers in, in, in Ahwatukee, where I live. There's robberies. So, so all this is gonna happen very, it's, you're gonna wake up and get sucker punched, these people are. But you're prepared for a year, it looks like. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so these founders, they wanna fund us. They're supposedly gonna start getting some funding. And we're, we're gonna have, pay, we're gonna even get retroactive pay. Retroact paid retroactively for the people who've been involved for a year and a half, and 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 you know, we have 17 trillion, supposedly around 17 trillion dollars in funding, and it's basically they're investing us. Some of this is like interest-free loans or things like that. They want their money back, but they want to they want us to be succeed because if we don't succeed, and this is also going to catch on like wildfire. We're being rooted on hmm. just in in last Friday's meeting. Any new people here? And these two couples raised their hand. There was two, there were two guys. And well, how did you find out about us? Well, I got a tweet from a friend in South Africa. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is how he was there. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the most important thing: is to get everybody to wake up and understand really who the bat, who's in, who's hurting us, so and stand I, up against them. About a brilliant individual. He's an eccentric. He lives in Tucson, named Ralph Epperson. He's made. He has tons of books and, and movies that he's made about this stuff that seems so crazy. And uh, I only encourage you to check out, he's, he wrote a book called The Unseen Hand. He sold 220,000 copies, not on Amazon, by word of mouth. And he's written another a couple of books, but he even has 
uh, once you start finding out about the mystery of Jesse James and William Andrews Clark, and you just can't believe this stuff. But yeah. it, 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 it's all right there. Yeah, well, these, these people, their game is not necessarily yeah. money at all. It has to do with power and um, manipulation of the power. And Who's the guy who killed JFK? <laughs> I'm sorry? Who's the guy that they said killed JFK? What's his name? Um, Lee Harvey Arlswell. There you go. His girlfriend slash wife came out with a book this year. Mm. Did you know that we hired him? He's a Marine. He was hired by yeah. the CIA. Right. And he was in New Orleans, and they were working on a... Uh, they were going to try to develop a, uh, a drug, and they were going to drug Castro and kill him. They were called the Team of 40, and they were based out of Miami. And after uh, JFK gave that famous speech about transparency and secret societies, three weeks later, they shipped them over, and, and, and they whacked him. And if you watch Jesse Ventura's show, he even had the, the guy that's in charge of the museum that's put on this charade that he was killed by this rifle up in the tower or whatever, it's virt it's it, it's it's impossible. What's impossible? They try to reenact. They're right. shooting that rifle seven times and that old junky piece of crap rifle. And here's Venture and they had the big cranes and they did everything geometric. The distances were right and it's it's impossible. You couldn't even shoot twice half the number of bullets in the period of time. It was all it's all and she her book I didn't read her book but there's just just yet another example of yeah. this nonsense. But there's, there's so much more to this that I can even, uh, you'll start saying nutty or whatever. But all, I, it's all provable. I mean, you don't know what you don't know what harp is, do you? Uh -uh. It's an array of antenna up and and there's a couple of them. One in uh, think, uh, one's definitely in um, Alaska. They can they can manipulate five million the watts. They can put through it into the atmosphere. They can vibrate the, the surface of the Earth. They can lead a hurricane. They can lead create. There, there's wars going on with weather right now. Do you know what chemtrails are? Do you ever see the white lines yeah. on the sky? Not Good. contrails. They're seeding the sky with aluminum. This poison. I've heard of that before. Do you know what Magellan's is? No. M nanotechnology. Oh, okay. That comes actually comes out of your skin fibers. A photograph, so just you can't dispute it. This is some sort of man-made gizmo that they're dispersing through the atmosphere. Do you know mm -hmm. about Cheyenne Mountain? Do you know about the Denver International the New World Airport, the Denver International Airport? No. The Georgia Guidestones? No. They want to reduce the world population to 500 million. <laughs> Google the Georgia, Georgia Guidestones. They're just like Stonehenge, etched in 12 languages, secretly in 1980. Turner huh? Network Television. Yeah, yeah. That Ted, guy. Turner. Ted, Ted Turner. Ted Turner. Oh, okay. Not Tim Turner. Ted Turner. But Ted Turner, because, you know, he's very much on the environment, has the 400,000 buffalo or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, they're, they're, you know, do you know what fluorinated water, fluoridated water is? Do you know what fluoride is? Uh, it's no. a neurotoxin. Do you know that the Nazis put it in the water to subdue the population to make them docile? They've dumbed us down. The history books have been rewritten. I got a degree from San Jose State. Okay, everything I learned, everything I learned in school, almost everything is is, is bull bullshit. Let me show you something. Even when it comes to science. What you just said. My wife and I are very much into bringing back history. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She wrote this book. And this she is, wrote this book? And this is a book that just came out. We just got it last week. It's beautiful. Offered by nccs.net. Well, this is a beautiful. Be primarily homeschoolers. Mm -hmm. And it brings back the true history of America, starting with Columbus through uh, the Civil War. Wow, I'd like How to much see. How does it sell for? Well, it's fifty nine ninety five. Mm -hmm. This is an expensive book. Bad. I'm impressed. I mean, how do you remember all this stuff? Gee, what, what do you mean? I, how do I remember it? It's just, it's, how can you not remember it once? It's, I took the red pill. Well, somebody like you. You can't unknow this stuff. They monetized my son, who's 12. He's going to be stuck with this. Okay? They turned my son into money and me. Yeah. And I don't, I'm not going to yeah. tolerate that. I'm going to sever these contracts and I'm going to be an American citizen living free on the land and they're going to quit, they're going to leave me alone and I'm going to be able to prosper and create so much revenue around me and help so many people. As long as you don't And, and these people, a, they want to kill. A Waco or a Ruby Ridge. I'm yeah. not crazy. <laughs> we built the 850 mile pipeline to, to carry oil from Prudhoe Bay. Are we waking Bay. up all the dogs in the evening? Is that what we're doing? Listen, listen. They talk about food shortages. What if we built the water pipeline from Alaska and irrigated the Southwest? Do you think we could feed the world? Did we have enough sun down here to grow enough food to feed the world? Easy. Easy. 
It's not done. I, I never understood. Why is genocide allowed to happen here and here and here? And you always hear, what's well, because they don't have oil. There's more to it than that. There's more sinister stuff. Yeah. No, I believe that. There's 80 yeah. autoimmune diseases caused by vaccinations. That's a whole different topic. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different topic. That's a big pharma. Go to Dr. Rebecca Carley's website. Learn everything right then and there. It's really sick stuff. It is. And, 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 you know, these viruses, AIDS, you know about the CIA, MK Ultra program? Nope. Google it. They took American citizens, put them in cages in the Presidio, right next to the same Golden Gate Bridge, and they tortured them. They put an IV in them, and they pumped them full of drugs so they could not pass out. They forced the people to develop a split personality, and then they programmed them as a Manchurian candidate to go do something. Some of these people, later in life, one guy... Jesse Ventura did a whole show on this. He did a, the guy got a bad car accident. He go in there and did a MRI on his whole body, CAT scans. They found six implanted devices. Oh my goodness. He was a, there's, you can watch support groups of women who were all MK Ultra victims. They gave, you know that they gave syphilis and gonorrhea to the Tuskegee Airmen, the black Mm -hmm. Irwin, mm -hmm. They made a movie about this. Yeah. You know that they slipped LSD into American citizens' drinks and followed them around. I've heard that. You know they lied about Pat Tillman for two years. Yeah. It's nonstop, man. Yeah. And I'm not going to take it anymore. <laughs> anyway. Hoo uh. Hoo uh. Yeah. Well, and and what you're talking about is is all getting to the source of what truth is. If you don't have truth, then you have all the rest of this stuff. It's a matter of just. It's a matter of man and greed getting in between us and God and allowing us to be who God wants us to be. Yeah. One of the best movies and one of the uh, videos that you ought to show at one of your presentations is the Wayseer video. Oh yeah, that I thing said, rocks. You put that on. Did I so, turn you on to that? Yes, you did. Boom. This is my favorite guy. You put, <laughs> you put that on right before it starts, like the five or ten minutes, and it's like a rap song, but not rap rap kind of song. I hate, oh, I'm yeah. not a rap guy. I don't like rap. I'm trying to be a little snobby guy, but this is cool music. You'll start singing it by the end of time it's over. And you really start, and you, you get to hear it two or three times because the words are all, it's a poem. What's it called? Wayseer Manifesto. It's, it's a poem. And that's a whole other group. Become a Wayseer. I'm a Wayseer. I'm a three percenter. I'm actually a one percenter. But Wayseers, I think, what, top three percenters he called us? Yeah. Three percenters. Three percent of the colonists. Three percent. Ten million can do this. Once they start to see, just like you say, they get the money thing, but see, what if the whole money system crashes and the money becomes worthless? Yeah. Okay? What about that? Yeah. And people, one of the things, if you come in with us and join us, another thing, we have so much planned, and you, but we're going to be in small communities. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to have, be able to grow food and survive without, did you see the price of food futures? The price of sugar? Uh -uh. Get ready for food to go up three, four X. That's what I've been hearing. And it's going to impoverish the poor people. We have tent cities everywhere. This is on out of the news. Mm -hmm. You don't know this. And the 10% unemployment is really 25, 20, over 20 probably. Yep. People have given up. And yep. this is going to get bad, man. Yep. But hey, th very nice to meet you, Mike. And we'll see you around. And I, you know. Um, yeah. yeah well, I, I'm blown away. What's for, how so? You should because, come. If because you think, of what you're if you think me. that if you think that I'm impressing you, you need to you come are meet Hal. You need you to meet impressive. Hal Epperson. No, you got to meet Hal Epperson. You got to. You already met Thomas. You get this guy right here. He's a half percenter. He's a tenth of a percenter. <laughs> he's fearless. He's fearless, and he, but he's doing everything. He's doing all the right things. We all have to do what he's doing. If we just started living like him right now. <laughs> Tomorrow is a new day. Everything's different. Everybody in I wouldn't push that on anybody. Everybody in the USSR lived in a lived in a house that was owned by the state on one day, and the next day, everybody in the USSR owned their own house. How is that for an overnight change? Imagine a stimulus package. If everybody says, "I'm not going to put my two cents in that bucket," when you get the printing presses over here, no more federal income tax. Imagine everybody just said, no more, we're done. What we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna tithe our money or we're gonna put our money in this other bucket and we're gonna start building this pipeline from Alaska. Which is, our, you get on the internet, the plans are already drawn up, three or four ideas. Cool. That's an instant That's cool. changer. Yeah. And then, and then you just crank out solar farms and 
and there's all this free energy. American scientists, there's 6,000 patents that they acknowledge. Tesla technology, their free energy's out there. The guy that invented the car and water car, he's a science teacher, he builds this car, drives on, makes a video, they killed him three weeks later. The Roy, GM, Epp the uh, GM Roy McAllister. Roy McAllister. Do you know, Roy McAllister. Do you know, the, do you know the story about no. Telza also? About what? Telza, Nikolai Telza. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's an electrical inside, engineer. I, I, I mean, that's like, I could go on about <sighs> Tesla. And that's what brought down 9-11 towers, Tesla technology. Mm -hmm. If you want to know about that, go race the, to the 500-page book produced put up by Dr. Judy Wood. Look at the cop car that's brand new in the back. Look, I just rolled off the assembly line, shiny, detailed, brand new. And there's a line, and the front of the car is completely blowtorched, burnt to a crisp. Where's the gas tank? Right there. <laughs> How come that didn't blow up? End of the energy where the force field ended. Yeah. Not to uh, mention the building was dustified. Yeah, well, there's still a lot of real no, no, mysteries about. No, there's no mystery. You know, no, no. So you're saying it's not, it wasn't even thermite. That's what you're saying? Thermite was involved. If you look at the 45 degree cut, I've studied this all, okay? From nine, you go watch the I 81 minute. Go, <laughs> go watch the 81 minute video on not pilots from 9 11 truth. 81 minute video with the two cops. The five workers at Arlington Cemetery, the guy, the black cab driver, he had the pole through the windshield on the bridge out front of the Pentagon. The guy working the helo pad, the guy working the um, shipping and receiving department that saw the commercial airline taking off. It was a military strike like this. And the commercial airline like that, and the drone came in. You know, they only produced five frames of one of the 56 security Oh, cameras. wow. That's how they do it, huh? They only did five frames. I remember hearing it's, something it's about that, how they had... Five frames in the history of the world. Okay, architects and engineers, they did a lot of work. My hat's off to them. Dr. Stephen Jones from BYU, hats off to him. Sir, the guy you want to go read is C Christopher Bolin, his ebook on 9 11. You know all the background people, all the Jewish neoconservative people, Silverstein, all of them involved. Okay, learn about the five laughing heart ha uh, Israelis. Do you know about them? Mm -hmm. See, this is insane. And, and you don't even know who Larry Sinclair is, do you? No. Okay. You see that all, it's it's it, the press is controlled. You got to you got to go to Drudge Report every day, dot com, and you got to go to Redmond.com, and there's you know other ones, but um, and forums or Freedom Phoenix. That's the really best place to go. Freedom really? Phoenix. He updates that. You update that. You got the stuff on there. The links on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the Republic for Arizona, our website. And if you go there and you watch all the videos, it explains the stuff I'm explaining to you. And one of the best ones is made by this guy named Mark Walsmith from North Carolina. He takes a video camera, he shows every law, every congressional record that explains why we lost the Constitution. That's the name of it. It's irrefutable. Black and white, right there. And like I, like I said, what our goal is to become a secure party creditor sever all the corporate adhesion contracts and get control of our own birth bond. And then you can discharge your mortgage because the bank never, and the bank has, if you get a $100,000 loan, let me say this fast, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. You got a house worth 100 grand, you wanna sell it and I wanna buy it, okay? You check me out, you say I'll sell it to you. We take a blank piece of paper, I, Steve, agree to pay Mike $1,000 a month for 15 years. I sign it, you sign it, I hand it to you and you own that promissory note. And I pay you $1,000 for every month for 15 years. Say after five years, you're tired of monthly payments. You just want to cash out because you want to move and retire on the beach in Costa Rica. You could hold the note up and say, hey, I got Steven, Steve's note over here. You know, he's got a pretty good job. You want to check him out. Anyone want to buy it? It's worth 70,000. Say I paid you 30 grand by now. Mm -hmm. It's worth 70 grand. Anyone want to buy it? So he walks up to you and says, you know, I check him out. I'll, I'll give you 55 grand for that note. You sign it over to him. You're on the beach in Costa Rica with 55K. I got to pay him 70 grand over the next 10 years. He could then in turn sell that note to somebody else. Every day thousands of notes are sold, they're called the, it's called the note business. Anyway, and normally these notes are for like motorcycles and RVs and smaller value pro thing, objects. When it comes to a house that's large, people go to a bank or a mortgage company, right? Well, guess what happens? You sign that loan document. First, first of all, you probably never read it. It's like 15 pages. Mm -hmm. You're basically giving the rights of your property to the state when you do that. But anyway, you, you sign that, they essentially have to have 10% on deposit. They create the other 90% out of thin air. They loan it back to you. Mm -hmm. So they deposit your, they take your promissory note that has actual cash value, something that can be sold. The yeah, promissory notes have, no, the promissory notes have actual cash value. It's like cash. Mm -hmm. 
You just you sold, sold it at a discount. For, you sold one for, for that face value. For that, for, yeah. you sold a note to him for fifty-five grand, and, and I'm paying him seventy. He's gonna make fifteen, but that piece of paper was worth fifty-five grand. The point is, the bank takes your note, their loan document. Mm -hmm. They deposit it like an asset. Mm -hmm. They loan it back to you at ten percent. At, at, at with it, it interest. Yeah. So then, they write this check. No, goes, I mean ten percent. It's actually worth. It's actually worth ten times more than the ten 10%. times more. But, but yeah. no, it's more to it than no. There's yeah. more to it. But let me get through this fast. So they take it, they deposit it. They they have to have ten percent on deposit. So they create ninety thousand dollars out of thin air. They loan that back to you. But they've got this loan deposit loan document deposited. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they loan it back to you. Go, that goes to title. Escrow closes. The seller walks away with a hundred thousand dollars in paper money. Then the bank can go over here and fractionally lend that five up to twenty more times. But guess what? They can loan to another bank who can in turn fractionally lend it again. That's why the, the large buildings in the cities that are, look like casinos, these skyscrapers, are banks. Because they're all made out of money that they didn't even have. Right. It's our money. Right. That's how they're able to do that. Yeah. But anyway, then the bank, then the, this person, the average person goes in, they say, bank, I want to get a loan for this $100,000 house. They said, okay, what kind of loan you want? When well, most people say 30 year fixed interest rate loan, right? Well, I'm going to use the number number seven percent because it's a magic number because that means every ten years it doubles. So you right. put a hundred thousand exactly. in the bank, seven percent, it's going yeah. to be two hundred. So anyway, you get a hundred thousand dollar loan. The bank says, "I'll give you a loan for hundred thousand for seven percent interest." That means a hundred thousand dollar loan after thirty years, you're going to pay them three hundred thousand dollars. Okay. So then this person make, you start making your monthly payments, but they actually, effectively, because they are able to create this money out of thin air, it's all based back to this birth, this birth bond I told you about. If you make 20 grand a year flat in your 20s, 30 flat in your 30s, 40 flat, 50, 60 up to 65, 60, 60, 60, that adds up to $1.7 million for that American child. So it's pretty easy to produce a bond worth $1.5 million because there's a good chance it's gonna kid's gonna make one point, more than 1.5 in America, especially if he's like a white kid, you know, from a certain age. I don't know how they do it, but they create these bonds. But anyway, so then they double dip. Because they're able to create that money, it's effectively accessing that bond. I want to say it that way. But then, secondly, they're getting they double dip by getting payments for 30 years. So, say that there's this lady that's 62 years old, and she her husband bought a house 29 and a half years ago. Okay, and they make making payments on this $100,000 loan. So they paid the bank over 290 grand so far. Let's say her husband died two years before, and let's say she lost her job two years before at the same time. And then she went on Cobra, and Cobra expired after 18 months. And the, and the doctor says, and, she, and her, her company laid her off because they built a plant in China. This is happening all over right now. And the people in the mid-60s, they can't get a job. So this lady comes down with a condition, if you don't get this procedure, you're going to die, cancer, whatever. So she had to miss making free car house payments. If you go 90 days past due, that's the magic number, typically. Now they're letting people stay in their homes longer. But anyway, they, they try to foreclose on her, and they kick her out on the street. And then they sell the house on the fire sale, sheriff sale, every two days, two times a day on the courthouse steps. Every day, Monday through Friday, they're selling properties and normally back to the banks. So then they collect again and they sell it for pennies on the dollar. And as soon as that happens, then they go collect on an insurance policy. Right. So they're making money all this way. So these, yep. and they can't every even. Every way you look at it. And they, they can't even show that they own the house. They can't show the wedding signature because all the loans have been electrified. They were all shredded and input it into the MIR system, which has 60 million loans. And then they have the foreclosure mills where people are all signing their name. They would pay you $15 an hour and just come in there and sign documents, all mm -hmm. fraud. And we're all sitting mm -hmm. back allowing this to happen. And this is once again, in this well, organization, this spreads, it's a game over thing. Yeah, and there are people out there that say, well, all you have to do is say, I don't owe you anything. Show me the paper that I signed. They're winning, we are winning it. awards. We're developing yeah. processes, paper document processes, like yeah. in Florida, I think they've done, they've saved 750. Some, but see the judges, many of their men are in on it as well. Mm -hmm. They're in, if you go look at the judicial system and the docket, it's drawn out just like a, like, the, like a ship. Admiralty law, when you cross and you, permission to come aboard, crossing the bar, you would not believe the symbolism. It's actually like a map. If you go Billy Faust, mm -hmm. he did a series on, on the court system. It's absolutely quite fascinating. And they're trying to give you to get, give you to get you to give them consent to give them to be submit under their jurisdiction by, by agreeing that you are the straw man.
And if you refuse to say that, you're the agent of this straw man. You can get a power of attorney and control that bond, supposedly. Lawfully, everything we're doing is right. But, willing, but it's kind of like, if you're living your life lawfully and a police officer says you're not, and he has a gun, you're screwed. That's what we're dealing with right now. Mm -hmm. But if we keep doing this in mass, and we can get some of these cases brought, to, we have grand juries in all 50 states. We're firing presentments. We're hearing cases of fraud and corruption. We're going to Judge Joe Apayo. We're going to, I mean, a Sheriff Joe. We're going to Grand Marshals. And we're not letting up because the more they start to get educated, once you find out you're signing a line, the truth is hidden in plain sight. That corporation that they see you can't sign that check. They need to trick you to sign it. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the MP on the side, it stands for microprint. And if you go to Wikipedia, which is owned by them as well, you got to be very careful what you get off of Wikipedia. If you look at Wikipedia, they'll try to explain that microprint is an anti-counterfeiting technology. <laughs> and they'll show you what the line is, but it won't say authorized signature only. It won't? No, they what? won't even reveal. No, they, really? they, they, no, they change it. Wow. We have 60 million rules, codes, regulations, and statutes that are known as the color of law. We're supposed to be based on the Ten Commandments and common law, natural law, God's law. Right. That's what we went back. Yeah, I'm with you. And 90% of our Americans would be out of jail. We have more people in prison in this country than all the world's countries put together if you don't count China. And it's all because it's a corporation that has to make money. Cool. It's on, hey, let's work Thanks. together. Let's yes. work together. I agree. Okay, we'll see you at a future event.